The Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation has positively impacted the lives of hundreds of students in the Denver metro area for nearly three decades. Tomorrow, the group will honor individuals who serve as a guiding light in the community at the 29th Annual Spirit of Lanterns Gala. With us this morning, Rachel Gazdick. She's the president and CEO of the Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation. And being honored at the gala is Jim Stambaugh. He's a member of the Rotary Club of Denver Southwest. South, nice South. to Southeast, excuse yeah. me. Nice to have you both on the show. Thank you for being here. Uh -huh. okay. I have never heard of this. I can't believe you've been around for so long. What is the I Have a Dream Foundation? So what we do at the I Have a Dream Foundation is we um, sponsor low-income kids starting in kindergarten, and we stay with the group, same group of children until they're to and through college and on to their professional lives. So in neighborhoods where kids are graduating at 5, 10, 20 percent, our kids graduate at 95 percent and 72 wow. percent go on to college. That's fantastic. Yeah. Really making a difference in our future for those children. How is the I Have a Dream Foundation modeled and what programs do you offer? So we do everything. It's a full wraparound support. So we uh, work with schools like Strive Prep Ruby Hill that have high conditions for teaching and learning. And then we offer things where we push into classrooms and work with students who are struggling academically, perhaps in reading and math. We offer after school programming, full summer camps. We take kids skiing in Vail um, on the off time when they're out of school. And we really just to provide the children with the same experiences that middle and upper class kids get in their uh, neighborhoods. So since this is such a, a long program, you follow on from elementary school all the way through college, can you share maybe one or two positive impacts that you've seen over the years? Yeah, and for example, uh, one of our dreamers, Jesus, is on a full college scholarship to Morehouse College for engineering. Oh he worked with RTD last summer um, for three summers in our Work is Success corporate internship program. Um, and then they took him with them to work on a project in Baltimore once the train was finished here in Denver. So kids are, you know, getting really phenomenal right. jobs and opportunities, and it's changing their life trajectory um, and putting them on a path to success. Imagine if you weren't there for them and uh, what kind of lives they could mm -hmm. possibly have. Mm -hmm. So now you've really changed it, which is wonderful. You can call to get more information, 303-861-5005. Jim, when did the Rotary Club of Denver Southeast first beginning to work with this foundation? We started in the late 90s where we did a program with Fairview Elementary and we adopted a class and followed them through high school and into college a little bit. And then uh, backed off a little bit and found out about the new program that they have uh, where I had is embedded in the school. So that kind of piqued our interest again. So this is our second year and we've got a five year commitment right now with at Ruby Hill Elementary. Excellent. And what are you doing to help Strive Prep at Ruby Hill? We, we assist both financially and hands on. So we're helping uh, subsidize their after school program. Uh, we also this last summer built, uh, uh, provided a uh, climbing wall for them. And then hands-on, we, we bring in a lot of different assets that our club has. So we're affecting not only the students, but also the whole community. We uh, recently brought in PCs for people and we're able to uh, uh, distribute close to 100 computers. Last year we did 160 computers to families. That, a lot of the families have never had a computer in the house. We brought uh, junior achievement in a day. So we've had club members go uh, implement that. We do uh, uh, go to the Food Bank of the Rockies, mm -hmm. pick up food every Friday. We do tutoring, a uh, little bit of everything. So, Well, congratulations Thank and well-deserved because I understand you're receiving an award on Thursday. Right, right. We're getting the McHugh Award uh, from Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation. So very excited about that. And this is something that our club has really been able to uh, rally about uh, around. So I would imagine just the mission with your members um, what you have day in and day out, how you try to improve our community, and then to be recognized like this, right. yeah. it has to be so rewarding. Yeah, we're really looking forward to tomorrow evening. And Rachel, tell us more about the gala that's coming up. So the gala is really, uh, this year's theme is Spirit of Lanterns. So we want everybody to think about who's been a guiding light in their own lives um, and how they can engage and make a difference, um, both with our kids at Colorado I Have a Dream and within our community. We have two w awards, the uh, Dream Maker Award, which Pat Hamill, the CEO of Oakwood Homes, will be receiving, and the McHugh Award, which is a long-term commitment award uh, that 
that, as you described, the Denver Southeast Rotary will receive. Uh, we're looking forward to Governor Hickenlooper and Mayor Hancock uh, to join us at That's the event. Fantastic. And then we have FACE, uh, which is a uh, acapella group. Uh, acapella They've been, group. Yeah, I'm a big fan of theirs. Yeah. They've been on the yeah. show several times. Yeah. Where can someone find out more about the I Have a Dream Foundation? So you can go to uh, cihadf.org, okay. uh, Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation.org, and you can learn all about us. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you for the work yeah. that you do. And Jim, congratulations. Thank well you. deserved. Thank you. It sounds Appreciate like you work it. your tail off trying to help better it's this been community. Fun. Very rewarding. Again, you can call this number, write it down. It's 303-861-5005, uh, 303-861-5005. And you can pay tribute to your Guiding Light post. You can post your story and message on social media. Use the hashtag CIHAD2017Gala. Just use that hashtag.